some weeks. So I'm going to put some pictures up on the screen, and I want you to tell me who each of these people are. So the first one is pretty easy. That's a football player. What about the next guy? A soldier. All right, one more. He's a scuba diver. Now, I want you to tell me what is something that all three of these people have in common. This is a little tricky. See, they're all wearing protective gear to keep them safe. Who are some other people that might wear protective gear? What does it protect them from? Maybe a firefighter. If he didn't wear his protective gear, he would burn when he went into the fire. Now, there's some things that we wear for protective gear. Can you think of some? One thing that comes to my mind is sunscreen. If you don't wear sunscreen, your skin's going to get burned and it won't feel good. Another one is a winter coat. They keep us safe and they keep us warm when the weather gets all crazy. What are some other things that we might need protection from? Take a second and think. One thing that might not come to mind but is very true that we need protection from is Satan. So just like people do things to protect themselves from harm and their jobs, God has given us protective gear or tools that protect us from Satan. And we find that right here in the Bible. So we're going to be looking at the same passage we've been looking at for a number of weeks now. It's Ephesians 6. And in this passage, we've been talking about the armor of God. So Paul is the name of the guy who wrote this. And as he was writing this, Paul was in prison. He was being imprisoned by Roman soldiers. And the Roman soldiers all wore big coats of armor. And that's probably what made him think of this passage. So it reads, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. So what this passage means is that we're fighting against Satan and that God helps protect us from that because we don't fight on our own. It goes on to say, therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you've done everything to stand firm, Stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all of the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God. So God knows that Satan doesn't want us to obey him. Satan is going to do anything to try and make us fall. And that is why God gives us his protective armor to protect us. So today we're going to be looking at some of these different pieces of armor. So the very first piece of armor is the belt of truth buckled around your waist. See, God's given us this to protect us. We find truth and God alone, and when we wrap this truth around us like a belt, it holds together. The next one is the breastplate of righteousness. Even though we all sin, when we put our trust in God, we're forgiven. Having righteousness means that we're able to to stand before God. God doesn't see us and our sin, but instead he sees Jesus. So the next piece of armor is our boots, our gospel boots. Boots are worn to protect our feet and to help us as soldiers to run bravely into battle. Paul said our shoes are like the gospel. It gives us courage to run and to tell everybody about Jesus. Because we know that the gospel, the message of Jesus, is what's going to change people's lives. 
The next piece of armor is a shield. Now what is a shield used for? Paul said our shield is our faith in Christ. When Satan tries to fire arrows of lies and accusations at us, we can hold up our faith in Jesus and be protected. Next, we have a helmet. I don't think this was the same kind of helmet that Paul was talking about, but it could do the same job. It keeps our heads safe. It keeps us safe from any kind of attack. So why should we wear a helmet? Sometimes Satan tries to discourage us by the evil things he says or the things he does. God has given us a helmet, and a helmet protects us from Satan's lies. Lastly, God has given us a weapon to fight back, and that is the sword of the Spirit, which we can think of as the Word of God. This sword is so powerful that nothing can beat it. It can defeat all of our enemies, so we should never be without it. See, God has given us armor to fight Satan. No matter what Satan throws at us, no matter what the world throws at us, we're never alone. And with God's armor, we can fight anything. So today, we're going to keep working on our memory verse we've been learning. It's Ephesians 6, 10. So I want you guys to say it with me, do the motions with me. Are you ready? Ephesians 6, 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. All right, let's say it again. Ready? Ephesians 6, 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. The reason that we memorize Bible verses is because that is our sword of the Spirit. When we're memorizing these verses, what we're doing is we're putting on God's armor. So anybody who can come to church and tell me this verse, anybody who can send me a video of saying this verse, I'm going to get you a prize. Let's pray kids like. Father God, thank you for who you are. Thank you for being a good God who loves us and protects us from anything evil that might come. Thank you for giving us your armor and keeping us safe. In your name I pray. Amen. Bye kids like. I hope you guys have a great week.